get a microphone stand. Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we're going to be answering a question that was asked by Wicked and he asks specifically, and let me read, how do you deal with playing on autopilot? I know I have this issue when I get in game and just mindlessly playing without thinking. Can you make a video on this or explain this concept? First of all, thank you for the other words that I didn't read. And second, let me just say that these videos are more of a discussion rather than a tutorial. I'm not here to teach you about anything, I'm here to discuss a topic. And I find this topic actually very interesting because it's something that does happen a lot. And it has been happening to me quite a lot as well. So what is autopilot and why is it such a bad thing? Playing in autopilot basically means that you're just going through the motions instead of actually playing the game that you're in. You're making the same mistakes game after game, you're building the same way, and essentially you're just not adapting to the different information that you're getting from that specific game. So you might understand how bad it is, but you might not understand just how harmful it can be to your games. Not adapting your plays based on enemy positioning, for example, will get you killed. Not playing according to your team's potential will also not allow you to get maybe an easy win. And finally, not buying the situational items is actually going to prevent you from using your champion's full potential. But why does this happen? Why do we suddenly start playing on autopilot? Here I can only speak of personal experience. To me, it usually happens when I've played three or four games and I've lost more than I've won. So if I've played five games and I lost three of those, then I know that in my sixth one, I am going to be in a half autopilot mode. Or maybe you just lost two games in a row and in the third one you're thinking, well, I just got two bad teams, so in this one I'm not going to have such a bad team, so I'm just going to let my team carry me. And when you start thinking that you're going to let your team carry you, that's when you start playing on autopilot. Autopilot can also actually be associated with tilt. So how do you actually prevent this happening to you? Well, in my opinion, there's three parts to actually preventing this. The first part is the obvious one. You're tired. League is tiring, at least mentally, so just give yourself a break. There's a reason why 90 minute soccer games have a break in between. Sure, the players are tired and they need a rest, but at the same time, I can bet you 95% of soccer players around the world can play those 90 minutes without stopping. The thing is, after 50, 60 minutes, they're not going to be thinking as clearly as they were in the beginning. Oh, and don't tell anyone, but there's also the obvious reason that people want to buy food and merchandising during those breaks. I would tell you to even stop for a day or two, but let's be real, you want to play League, so just stop for at least 20 minutes. Go take a walk, call your girlfriend, believe me, she deserves it. Take a shower, or just watch a random episode of a series you like. Do anything non-league related. The second part is for when you are about to start playing again after you've taken that rest. And there's two things you can do before you actually start in-game. So first of all is to go with a positive mindset. Think that you're going to win this game and how you're going to do that. And also, in Champion Select, be more talkative. Speak to your teammates, let them know what they're thinking, let them know what your pick is going to be like and why. Try to pick according to your team's potential. Or if you see that the enemy team is picking a poke comp, then why not pick an engage comp? And finally, the third part is the most complicated one, but it's also probably the one that is going to prevent you from actually going into autopilot. And that is to be sharp when the game starts and to remain sharp as the game goes on. And how will you actually do that? Ask yourself these questions while you're playing. What will your lane opponent try to accomplish versus you? What will you do to prevent him? Where is the jungler? Do the other lanes need help? What will my final build look like? And finally, where will the next team fight be? Baron? Dragon? An objective? It is super important to think ahead in the game. And if you do that, you will not trigger autopilot. Because autopilot means you're just playing in the present. You're just going through the motions instead of actually planning what you are going to do. So when using these questions and thinking ahead of the game, you can actually prevent yourself from going into autopilot mode very easily. But what do you guys think? Does it affect you as it does me? What do you usually do to prevent that from happening to you? How about it if we meet up in the comments and talk about it? Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And thank you again for this question. As a final note, I would like to remind you all that I'm doing a giveaway. I made this video which you can check out here and it will explain everything that you need to do for that giveaway. Just a reminder people, you have to do all three things that I say in the giveaway so that you can actually participate. Subscribe, share the Facebook post and comment on the video. Thanks for watching again. See you guys on Saturday. Yeah, see you on Saturday. Sakeos out.